We had just now a, a presentation by Stefan Ellis on uh, Absorb 3, which is the American Absorb. Don't forget that there are two components. There is Absorb 3 and Absorb 4. And these trials are pure clinical trials. Uh, they are collecting the clinical event and also collecting the frequency and the intensity of angina pectoris, really a clinical trial. Their goal was to do a report after one year, and they did, and then wait another four years and have a final report at five years. Now, what happens is that with Absorb Japan, China, and Absorb 2 in Europe, some message, some complication, some difference in output, not necessarily significant because we are talking about small population, 400, 400, 500, randomized sometimes 2 to 1 versus uh, science, while the United States is uh, 2000 and 2005, so almost uh, 4,500 patients. And with the, the signal, of Absorb 2, and I think the people have taken the message of Absorb 2 very seriously. Then it was a kind of warning, and there have been discussion between the uh, industry and the FDA, and then the decision was taken to have a look at the Absorb 3 uh, after, during the second year, after the end of the second year. And I think that what we have seen is some difference some differences which are not uh, dramatic, but they are systematically there. There is uh, more revascularization, more myocardial infarction, more thrombose. Uh, sometimes the p-value is not there, but it, it's not, uh, we were expecting a plateau and then uh, a divergence in favor of the biodegradable with the metallic taking its take off uh, in event. And that's not taking place after one year, after two years. Now, uh, if you talk to the uh, clinician listening to this data, uh, I think that uh, there is a few messages, and there is also uh, the task force of the European Society who has made a document on that. I think we are dealing with the first generation. Uh, the non-inferiority is not there. If you have a patient who has received uh, that the device uh, absorb and if he has tolerated the ischemic event and the bleeding complication, I would advise to go on with the DAPT for a period of two, three, maybe four years after all this, the trial of Laura Mori has shown the benefit for acute myocardial infarction, not only in the territory of the stent area, but also outside the stent uh, area. And then uh, maybe watch the second and the third generation, because uh, I'm well informed, I see all the improvement. I know that the, this biodegradable material is still the same, but by post-processing is becoming stronger thus thin, thus it gets embedded much more, uh, much easily in the vessel wall, get covered much more easily, and of course that's all hypothesis and expectation, but I think it should go in the, in the right direction. Mm -hmm.